what's going on guys it's friday so it's time for tactical talks so just the other day i was given a new piece of equipment from work and it's something i'm going to start wearing i'm going to be using this more often um, than my regular uniform so i wanted to show you guys and i want you guys to let me know what you guys think of this and i have some questions about it as well so this is brand new to me as far as this style goes and we'll get into obviously you guys know by the thumbnail but I've worn load-bearing vests whenever I was in the Marine Corps. Obviously, they were a lot bigger. Um, usually, all I ran on those things was I had AR magazines on there. I had a K-bar on there. Very simple. Um, I didn't wear a duty belt. It was just kind of me and my rifle, you know? So now that I have all my gear at work, I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on this vest. Now, as far as right now, we are not necessarily limited to what we can put on it with the exception of I can't have a firearm up on top of this vest. That has to stay on my duty belt. So I have to try to figure out what do I want to put on there? And then after some time, what are they going to allow me to put on there? So kind of random off topic. If you guys haven't noticed, I am growing my beard out. It is kind of weak right now. It's just a few days in doing no shave November, supporting testicular cancer. So that's what all this scruff is about. But let's get back to it. Here's what I got. This is an outer vest that my department's going with. Now this is just the shell. I just barely opened this out of the package, have not put this on, have not messed with this. Um, my bulletproof vest that I wear under my uh, shirt for work is gonna come out, it's gonna slide into the back of this piece here and the front one will slide up here in the front. Then this will go on and I can wear this and then I'll have all my attachments. There's Molly attachments down here at the bottom. I'll be able to put my badge up here. I think they're still trying to figure out whether or not we're going to have our name on our uniform. We'll kind of see how that goes. But if you guys watch my channel, then you know that here recently I did a, I rearranged my duty belt and I'm really happy with the way I rearranged it. I don't know why it took me that long to get to where my duty belt is now. But I rearranged it. If you guys have not seen that video, I will link that right here. So go and check that video out. Let me know what you think about that. I've had a lot of positive feedback, a lot of really good questions on there. With that being said, I changed it. I'm used to it now. I've gotten comfortable with it. And now we're making more changes. So there's nothing wrong with change. I'm all about it as long as it doesn't affect what I'm doing negatively. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys this thing. Like I said, I've seen other people wear them. I just got mine. I hadn't even put it on yet. I barely opened it up out of the package. I have very basic understanding to how this thing works. Um, but I'm so far, I'm on board with it. You know, I think this is going to be a good thing. I like the idea behind it. I like that, you know, we are adapting. So that's how that's going to go right there. So... Covers front and back, says police on the back. Obviously police on the front, I'll have my badge up here. I'm thinking, and let me know what you guys think of this. I'm thinking maybe my taser on this side because I have to have it opposite side of my uh, strong side for my gun. So I'm thinking taser up here, maybe some mag pouches up here, maybe a flashlight. I don't want to overdo this vest. I don't want this thing to be ridiculous, overdone, too heavy. I do want to take some of the stress off of my back by taking things off of my belt. And I, I know that this will feel a little bit better as far as more comfortable. I want to ensure that I don't have anything behind me. So whenever I'm sitting down, leaning up against stuff, that that's not applying pressure to my back to make sure that it's not, you know, causing me back issues down the road. So this is going to do a really good job of taking some of the things off of my belt, distributing that weight and making sure that I'm not putting pressure on anything um, this is from point blank I don't know if you guys can see that right there this is the same company that we use for our bulletproof vests um, so everything obviously is compatible it all goes together this vest was fitted for the, the, the one that I have currently so all the inserts are gonna fit from my old one to my new one and this is what I will be wearing now at some point I'll show you the full uniform what this thing looks like while I'm in uniform and then once I figured out what exactly I'm going to put on this, but as far as right now, I wanted to just show you guys this. I know I have a lot of law enforcement guys that watch my channel. I see your guys' comments telling me, 
you know, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Or I like how you do this. Thanks for showing me that. And I kind of give different ideas and we spitball ideas off of each other. So that's kind of what I want to do with this video. What do you guys think I should put on here? How should I set this up? For those of you guys that already have something like this, what do you have on your vest? You know, I also have some other things that are coming in the mail today. Um, it's not Friday for me, so it will be at the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there so you guys can check out maybe something I'm going to talk about in a future tactical talks video, but something I've been meaning to order for a while and I finally do have it coming in. But this is the point blank outer vest with Molly attachments here on the front it has two pockets up here at the top, two pockets down here in the middle. These are all Velcro. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, the other question I have for you guys, if you watch my channel, well, if you watch my channel for the Tactical Talk segment, then I'm pretty sure you're pro-gun. That's just me spitballing or me guessing, but I would say that you're pro-gun or you're considering buying a gun or you have guns. The argument is that our law enforcement is too militarized. Everybody says they're too much like the military, too much like this, too much like that, but... If you're going based off of day-to-day -day activities, there's a lot of things that we handle. We talk to a lot of people, and, and most of my job is talking to people. But why not be prepared for the worst situation? If you watch the news and you watch the stories that the media loves to put all over TV, you know, it's always these tragedies, these big old, you know, crazy situations. Why not be ready for that? Does this look too aggressive to you? I don't get the argument. I think that this is going to help everyone. Like I said, I think this looks better. This is going to feel more comfortable for myself. I wear this uniform a minimum of 12 hours a day when I'm working. Not to take into consideration that I get to work early. So that's at least 13 hours. The days that I leave late, hour, two hours after that. So you're looking at maybe 15 hours a day wearing all of this extra gear on my body that's just weighing me down, potentially causing me back issues or joint issues or just other things this is going to help me in the long run does this offend you i don't know that's just my little rant i'm going to skip forward to probably me doing the unboxing of what i had coming in today and uh that's kind of it for that but answer those questions for me what do you guys think of this new vest does this look you know too tactical for some of you guys does this offend anybody how do you think i should set this up so, very simple video, not a lot going on this week, just getting a few new things, got to make some adjustments, and I definitely, definitely will have some updates coming once this thing is fully set up, and then once I've been running this rig for a little while, to let you know how I feel about it, what I think, what my initial thoughts are, and is this something I'm going to be using long term. This isn't something I have to use, I can use this or I can revert back to my old uniform, it's our decision at this point. So is this something that I'm going to use over what I'm using right now? So check out this unboxing. Thanks for watching, guys. I think I'm going to open this one first. Show you guys what we got. I know a lot of you guys like to pull out your nice fancy knives and cut open packages. I'll just tear it. So anyways, I got a holster that I ordered online. Now, I normally don't order holsters only because I got a buddy who makes my holsters. So I'll link my buddy down below, Concho Valley Custom Kydex. I'll link him down below so you guys go check out his holsters. The only reason I got this holster was because this is the holster that goes with grips that I bought for my 1911. So the holster and the grips are compatible. Um, and it, you can run it with any light. So I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to keep this light on there. So I didn't want to get a custom holster done with this light on there. And then not keep this on there. So this holster, you can attach any light, anything on there. Um, I got to see kind of how I like it. Seems a little tight. But anyways, we'll get back to that. We'll do a video on this holster. Like I said, this does work with... Uh, any light function that you want on a 1911. So there's that. The other thing I ordered is also for that gun. 
and I got it this for a steal. This is the 1911 government 10 round Pro Mag. And I found this online extremely cheap and decided why not? Is that big? Is that ridiculous? Yes. Is it necessary? Maybe not for you, but more rounds is always a good thing for me. This is obviously not something that I'm going to carry in the gun at all times, but all my other magazines, all my other guns, I always have a high capacity backup magazine. So that's what this is for. Again, it's big, it's ridiculous, it's supposed to be. It's a big gun. Why not have big accessories? So that's all we have for this week, guys. Thank you guys for watching Tactical Talks. If you're subscribed, thank you for watching. If you're not, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do uh, Tactical Talks videos every Friday and then just weekly vlogs. So I do have some stuff coming up this week. I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.